Okay, well, today we're talking about using visual aids in a presentation, right? So one of the most powerful visual aids you can use is a graph, a graph or a chart. So here we have a graph, a line graph, for the yearly sales report. All right. So I guess we have sales going up this way. Mm -hmm. And then we have time. All right. So as time goes on, the sales changed. And we're going to learn how to describe these changes on the graph. Mm -hmm. So for number one, you can see that sales went up, right? To describe this, we could say sales increase. We could say rise. We could say sharp increase, slight increase, shoot up, take off, or gradual increase, right? So what's the difference between sharp increase and gradual increase? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Well, that's okay. A sharp increase is an increase that goes up very fast. Like this. A gradual increase would be a very slow increase, like this. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, okay. how about slight increase? Slight increase and gradual increase. Well, slight increase means a little bit, and uh -huh. gradual means slow. So, okay. Yeah, maybe if it went like it was flat and then up a little bit, that would be a slight increase. Uh -huh. Whereas this would be a gradual increase. Okay. All right. Good question. And this is actually called a pie chart. Pie chart. Yeah, because it looks like a pie that you're cutting slices off, right? Yes. Okay. But unfortunately, this is not a pie, right? So I'm going to read this tip. It says, selecting the right graph is essential in using visual aids. For example, use pie chart for showing percentage and market share. However, use horizontal bar graph when showing a ranking. Okay. So this page, we're talking about percentages, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to compare two years, 2011 and 2012. And we'll see that what happened to the green area was that it grew, right? Mm -hmm. It expanded, it enhanced, it became larger, it became bigger, it swelled, it gained, enlarged, or appreciated, right? Appreciate. Yeah, so here appreciated means the value mm -hmm. went up. Right. Okay. On the other hand, though, the bl blue area didn't do so well. The blue area shrank. All right. The blue area declined. It contracted. It reduced. It dwindled. Or it depreciated. Okay. What happened to the red part, Eva? Uh, the red part is about this. Uh, the same. About the same, right. Yeah, 11%. Uh -huh. Yeah. What else could you say about the red part, Sarah? Mm -hmm. um, no change. change. No change. Yeah, no change. Perfect. Very clear. Mm -hmm. No change. Now, we get to practice. Okay? Well. <laughs> so here we have a graph, and it looks like we're talking about the value of the Great Britain pound, oops, pound, right? That's the money they use in the UK. We're talking about the value of the pound against the US dollar, all right? From, it looks like January 06, 2006, through January 2011, okay? Okay, Eva, can you tell us what happened from July 2008? onwards uh, okay so uh, I see. on the second half of the uh for of year 2008 mm -hmm. uh there's there there was a sharp decrease yeah. 
and he actually uh, he actually hit to the record low of uh, uh, of one British pound to one point four U.S. dollar. Good. Yeah. And yeah, and there's. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a shop increase, but it's not gradual. But anyway, <laughs> I'll call it a shop increase. Uh, during the first first half of year two thousand nine, and mm-hmm. it, it kind of fluctuated a bit to till two thousand to the second half of two thousand nine. Right. So it fluctuated a bit over here. Yeah, about here. All right. It looks like it continued to fluctuate. It went down a little bit, but now it's it, starting to go back up, right? Mm-hmm. So that uh, uh, it's kind of, it remains steady. Yeah, relatively steady, right? Mm, yeah, relative. All right. Good. Yeah, great job.